Good morning, Modern Standards. I know a lot of you aren't going to want to hear it, but uh, we just got another quarter inch of rain last night. Uh, frustrating. I know there's a lot of people who need the rain, but I don't. I want to get my pasture raked out and seeded. What are you girls up to? You got to come out? I bet you we've gotten close to 8 to 10 inches of rain since we've had our four acres of land cleared. Uh, we've had a lot. Look at that apple. I see your dish trying to hide it on me. I like feeding them in different spots over here, encouraging them to clear it out a little nicer. You're always right behind the pigs waiting for their feed. The turkeys knocked over their feeds last night. I wonder if they got scared during the thunder and lightning storm last night and knocked it over. We still got three of them, you're looking good. We gotta move this tractor. But you need to eat all the grain first. Girl sleep good last night. Hot butter cup, blossom. You ready, Willow? Come on. We have all these tomatoes lately, guys, and I haven't cured up any bacon. <sighs> so that's on the to-do list. Get this out of the freezer and get it defrosted. Get a chicken while we're in here. Stick these two pork bellies in the fridge and get them defrosted. This is one of the Freedom Ranger meat birds we raised this year. Well, we never candled the turkeys, but now we need to take them out of the egg turner, put them in the incubator. We might as well candle them. We can shut that off. If everything goes well, they should be hatching in two days. All right. Dud. 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 No. Bummer. 
none of them took. Man, that's all right. They were shipped all the way up from Texas. So sometimes just in shipping, fertilizers get shooken up too much and they don't, I don't know, they don't take, I guess is what you'd say. We should have candled them sooner to see if any of them were growing or not. So it's our fault. Well, that's kind of disappointing. I'm glad that, glad Carson and Jenna brought up the two other turkeys. So at least we have three now, huh? Mm -hmm. Next year we'll have to try this again. Disappointed? Yeah. You look good. All right, guys, we're here picking up one more part that we need for our truck. Them pink ratchet straps sure work nice for picking up a manly plow. I like that. Now we just gotta figure out how we're gonna get this out of the truck. I'm pretty happy with all the weight in the back of the tundra. It really didn't squat too much. We got the whole plow set up right in the back of that truck. Those blades, the weight of them are all there. It's crazy to think, middle of August, and I'm already thinking about snow plowing and planning ahead. Whew. Last year we had six months worth of snow. In April, we had our first whole hog culinary class. I believe it was the middle of April, the last day of the class, we had a snowstorm. And in October, we had another whole hog culinary class I think that was middle of October, end of October. Last day of that class, we had another snow storm. So that's six months that we had snow. We're in Northern New Hampshire, about an hour from the Canadian border. Growing zone 4B. So we get the snow. So I wanna make sure we're prepared and I can plow our road. In this box, we got the main headgear the headlight bar. I'm wondering if that's the headlights that it comes with. We got our hydraulic hoses, our flag guides, and our pistons that are in here too somewhere. Right there. You know what? Let's try it. What could go wrong? Oh, 
Well, that went better than I expected. And it looks like I got some homework to do. I gotta read up on the directions. Hopefully tomorrow we can get the truck side installed. I've installed a couple of Fisher snow plows before, but never a boss and never a V-plow. So, tomorrow will be a new adventure. One of the big selling features to me of the Boss Snowplow, this is not a sponsored video, is the LED headlights. That's going to be nice and bright. Well, now that we're home, the goats want to get out. They said, I know you're here. Let me out. Huh, Livies? Mm -hmm. How many more days do you have left before school starts? Counting today and the weekend, it'll be five ish days. Five more days. Five Leave it in the comments down below and let me know when you guys start school or when your kids start. It's crazy to think. It's already here. I can't open it when you guys got it. Hey, it's open. Buttercup. Get out of it. You girls are free. Go roam and eat some apples. We'll let you. <sighs> Let's go feed the pig some slop. Guys. I feel like I'm being followed. Am I being followed? What are you doing? <sighs> you never know around here. What are you girls up to? Huh? Can you find the pigs? I see sausage. It's Link. She's all dirty. Thanks, you're covered in mud. You want some slop, piggies? Oh, I was just gonna say, don't touch that. Oh. oh then you did. It felt like you shocked my hand. <laughs> you felt it? I do. I think I felt it. And girls want some apples? They smell really good. Yeah. Can you smell them here? Yeah, I can mm. smell them. I want to eat them, Willow, but we'll share them with you girls. They really like them cut up. They get pushy. Buttercup. You go, Blossom. No, Willow. Can you run to Willow, please? Willow loves her some apples. She won't even let the kids get any. Is that too big for you, Blossom? You can let Willow have that one. I'll cut you up a smaller piece. She's like, no way, I ain't giving it up. Does Buttercup need a smaller piece? No. Maybe. Man, Willow, you crazy about these apples. You're crazy. Here, I'll take a smaller That's a smaller one. Oh, ah, no, that's the... Hey. <laughs> oh no, you That's it. all you want is apples. Hey, here. Come here. Be nice though. Butter. Blossom. Blossom. Oh. Blossom. You're crazy. Did Blossom get some? No. There you go, Buttercup. Here. Blossom. Blossom. What did you want? And Blossom did not get any. She just took some of it. She only nibbles it. Willow's gonna eat it right out of your hand, I bet you. She's gonna take it I right away. Too. That's it, you piggies. Oh, got it up. He's gonna say, Do you want me to take a piece? Of it? So, we're gonna get some apple juice tonight when we milk you there, Willow? I know, right? Huh? 
or it'll be fermented like hard cider. No more, you ate them all. Let's pick some string beans for dinner. Hopefully we have enough. I see some. Just enough for dinner. Andy, you're in our way. Dinner was so good, we forgot to sign off. And then Gina gave me a haircut. She did a pretty good job. I'll have to keep her. Hey, you guys see them? That's where they like to roost that night. Blackie's usually not up there with them. Huh. I messed my hair up. This is where we're gonna end today's video. We'll see you guys right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.